Welcome to the Day Trader Genius Stock Option Daily Review for March 3rd, 2020. And our goal here is just to show you that there's opportunities to make money whether the stock prices are going up or going down. And in fact, in times of high volatility, there's huge opportunities, as you're going to see. Um, yeah, so let's get going. Uh, we're taking a look at MMM and nothing is happening. I'm just going to kind of be moving through. Our goal is not to sh teach you how to do this, just to show you that it's possible. And if uh, you take the time and effort and energy and the, get the coaching and the training, then you can take advantage of these types of moves. So with that said, we're going to be moving along. Uh, the orange is what I call no man's land and the stock is options that stock has been running up and down across the no man's land and until we get a clear indicator we're not really gonna jump in because nothing is happening this is uh, the top what we're looking at and then the bottom is a basket a basket is uh, stocks that have been picked by the program to give us an idea of what the market generally is doing hard not to give you some training so uh, looks like we have a move and we have another move so we're gonna buy a put Let's see what happens these are five minute candles and already we're at 14 percent oops we're gonna have a reversal maybe no and it's continuing to move now right there we have 32 percent we normally uh, suggest that if you look at the excess volume as the volume spikes the beginning at the end and so I'm gonna just take my 32 and get out but we'll go a little bit further and see what happens oh, it continues So we got out a little bit uh, too early, which is great. Warren Buffett always said the secret to his success was getting in too late and getting out too soon. So we don't want to pick the exact time, which would have been around here somewhere, and the exact time to get out, which would have been around here somewhere. You know, get in when we're clear, and then, well, it's looking like, you know we hit this previous low and sometimes it'll bounce up and down against that and that's exactly what we see here okay, now we're going to look at Microsoft and as you can see it also had this run down the same as MMM uh, but it's a little bit later it's been kind of thinking about going down but hasn't really decided so let's just see what happens here it's looking like it's going down so there's a strong no almost a strong signal there's a little bit better no well, it's trying to go down so basket is red we're gonna try another put here getting a stronger movement we're getting some volume getting a nice little movement oh, got a volume spike we might be going in the wrong direction okay well we got 38 percent and a huge volume spike which usually suggests a good time to get out so we're going to get out and let's see what happens oh there's a green one yeah total reversal 
well, I don't know about total reversal, but everything we gained, we lost. And she's stuck around that number. So good, good time to get out. All right. And we're so only do one trade at a time. It takes all of your concentration, and if you're trying to focus on two, uh, you'll make mistakes. But usually during these moves, whether this one here or this one here, there's more than one because this is a basket doing the same thing. There's more than uh, one one uh, trade. So we're going to take a look at one more. And we're gonna go back to around 12 o'clock. A W A Y X. So as you can see, it's hovering around no man's land. Not much is happening. And of course, we don't trade. If it's just too too uncertain, if it's in here. But we'll see if we. Oh, we're getting a bit of a breakout. Is it going to continue? It's, of course, you can see in the past it's done that one, two, three times. I'm not sure I can believe this is good, but. Hmm. All right, let's try one more put. Might have made a mistake. Oh, now she's breaking through that pivot. This could be a long drawn out affair. Oh, I'm getting a little bit of action well oh. it's up and down up and down that's why you have to watch your trigger finger oh, oh. Well, still at 16 percent we can afford to stay in a little bit here now we're getting some action a little bit of volume I don't know that I want to be in much longer that's pretty long whoa move and oftentimes when I see a big candle like that, the next one goes the opposite way. So we're going to get out and then just see what happened. There's the candle going the other way. Good. All right. So to take a quick gander at our trades. AXY, which we just did, 51.4%. MMM. 32.2 Microsoft 38.4 now of course this is a replay and you're gonna probably be a little twitchier on the get it get in get out than I was and uh, but even if you made half of that it would have been a pretty nice day and our goal is to show you that these sort of trade well first of all we are in an exceptional market right now so normally speaking <laughs> you know we talk about 10% in 10 minutes uh, these are you know, 30, 50 percenters in a little bit longer. Well, you know, an hour, you know, 15 minutes, and an hour. So, but I think you'd be quite happy to stay in for that length of time. And the good news is, is you get to sleep at night because, hey, we're out. Uh, we've done our little bit of work. We've made our money. And of course, the difference between making a little bit and a lot is how many contracts you buy. So it doesn't mean that uh, you have to do a lot of trading. If you made 51% and you, uh, let's just say you bought $2,000 worth of contracts, then that's you know $1,000. So uh, you need to buy as many contracts as you need to buy to make your financial goals. But that's not the purpose of this. The purpose of this is just to show you it's possible. You need to get the training. We have courses in the description. Um, you need to get coaching and you need to have the software so once you finish the courses we'll give you 30 days to try out the software you know, during replay we'll give you a coach to work with shorten your uh, your learning curve 
when you're confident in what you're able to do then you can go live and like anything else you start off small and build from there and it's better to do it with mentors who are trading which is what our coaches do and um, yeah so there you go thanks for watching please like and subscribe and leave comments and we'll see you next time bye bye